Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That is right, just in time for another virtual campground tour. I have traveled north, crossed the Red River, and now I find myself at West Burns Run on Lake Texoma. Such a beautiful man this is this one this this one's at the top of my list for Corps of Engineer campgrounds so you're gonna want to stay with me let me I have little red the high-speed mobility scooter the GoPro Hero 9 with the max lens mod best of all I have you so let's go take a tour a virtual tour of West Burns Run on Lake Texoma get you all seated get you a good elevated spot up there so you can see everything and now, and now we gotta figure out how to get back on the road we gotta do a go back over here all right cue the music let's turn run is a seasonal core engineer campground Meaning it's closed during the winter. I think it opens April 1st and closes at the end of September. So we'll uh, get a good speed run going. And I'll uh, pull that when we get into the campground proper. All the campgrounds that I have visited on Lake Texoma, the Westburn Run is, has risen to the number one position for me. <laughs> and you'll see why when we get down here. Now, I like, I really like Eastburn Run. That was a, that's a beautiful campground too. I really like the cove where you can get out of the wind and do some fishing. The Westburn one has got had some of the some fantastic RV sites. It is spring. Uh, April 20th, 2022. We are in a drought. Wouldn't know it by looking at all this beautiful green foliage, but it's super dry, so there's a burn ban in place. We're going to zip through the Bay use area before we go check out the campground. Now, this is a fee day use area. If you want to see it in a little slower format, you can go back in time to last Sunday and see the experiential video. Kit camping Oklahoma style. Well, the day you say, uh, this, this is supposed to be the beach, but the beach is not much of a beach. Uh, it's, it's a designated swim area, but I wouldn't have my little kids out here. I don't know. That, definitely not without a life jacket on. But as you can see, it's all just rock. And when the water levels up, it will be a rather deep swimming hole. Campfire. You see how windy it is today, but we're all chopped on the water. Last stop, last next 
And again, here on the right, again, are more primitive campsites. So far, I have not found any hiking trails. Money though, a little bit of high coverage. <laughs> For all of the sites here from the, the sites here from the beginning are all on the right hand side and all back hand side. Oh, I'm slowing down, coming around this curve, so you can kind of get a, a look at them. And it's hard to go around on some of these sides. But we got over the, the water. But on a day like today, you can't leave your rack there, though. Basically, you can't leave your awning out. on the right, more back end sites. Now, I would imagine that this campground is packed full every weekend. You're going to want to take advantage of a, of a total like camp nab. Camp nab will be in the description below. I popped one in the, up in the car right there. They help you get the best campsites. Or they do. They help you get campsites. Period. These are all going to be very spacious poultry sites. They are designed for the big, big RV. They are all full connection sites, which is to have this many full connection sites in a Corps of Engineer campground is, for me, kind of surprising.
I don't know how many they have, but there's a lot of them. Campsites, that is. Full through, full connection campsites. Cheat a little bit. Drive through this campsite since there's nobody here. It's Thursday. I'm sorry, it's Wednesday. Campsites in this in West Burns Run. I came out here in the in little in the white truck for this journey. Diesel fuel is still outrageous. At almost five dollars a gallon. Now granted, Trudy gets really great gas mileage for a motor home. 11, 10 to 11 miles a gallon pulling the, the right truck. But it's still painful. <laughs> All right, let's go see some back end sites. Stop sign. What stop sign? Breaking the law. Breaking the law. That'll have to catch me. All right. We're gonna go backwards so you can see the pull through sites. I mean the the back end sites. They are definitely maximizing their campground revenue. We are going to finish this up out at the boat ramp. the last, the third dump station. Oh no, we're going the wrong way again. 
And then a boat ramp for my boat ramp fans. deer out here, but so far I haven't seen any. I have it on good authority. There's a lot of deer. So we're not going to make the gravel road. This is actually a group not to be mistaken with fruit loop.
We'll find some place to close this out where it's not so windy. We'll just we'll get some speed on. You know me, I'm always excited about an opportunity to go as fast as I can on a little red. All right. Beautiful shady spot right here. Still windy. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not gonna play it. I'm happy as spring. Hey, I sure appreciate you riding along with me through Burns Run West. If you enjoyed this video or gathered or gained some value, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and blasting me out across your social media. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, that's why we're out here. That's, that's why you are the reason why I get to come out and see this. Thank you. I probably would have never come out here if it wasn't for, for you guys. Thank you so much for that. And for my patrons, thank you. I'm most honored. You rock. Y'all come back now, you hear?